Oh, everyone's got things to be concerned about when it gets this cold. Maybe it's an elderly relative or your pets or maybe it's your car battery. And for farmers, it's concern about their livestock. Westmoreland County Bureau Chief Ross Gadotti talked with a local dairy farmer about his herd. You know, you hear it all the time when it comes to your pets. If you're cold, they're cold. And that certainly is true. But down on the farm, well, that might not be the case. And while extremely cold weather can be costly to the farmer, the cows, they like it. Craig Lash Jr.'s family has been raising dairy cattle and farming on their West Newton spread for decades. And when it gets this cold... Frozen water or tractors that won't start. It's not a lot of fun. I don't want to go out much either, but you got to, you know, you got to do it, you know. You got to feed them. They, they need fed and taken care of 365 days a year. As for the cows, for most sports, you keep them dry. That's the most part. You want to keep them, uh, their bedding clean and dry. Regarding heat, well, it turns out it doesn't take much because these massive animals are essentially four legged half ton furnaces. They make their own heat. If you have a lot of cows in here, it's. It's, it's kind of funny where it feels like you have a heater going in the barn. You know, a thousand pound cow can put off a lot of heat. That's provided the animals are fed and fed a lot, which, if a winter is super cold, can cost livestock and dairy operations bottom lines. I mean, they eat more, so you got to buy more. I mean, you may run short by spring if you're feeding more. As for cattle and their personality when it comes to extremely cold weather and having to do what they have to do as far as milking, generally speaking, they are pretty docile, but there are a couple who don't like that necessarily. But then again, who likes coming to work in the cold? In West Newton, Ross Gadotti and the cows, KDKA News. Yep. <laughs> Good point, Ross.